Hi guys, this is Braceways. How's everyone doing? Well, today Chuck and I have this corner area in the dining room that we wanted to show you guys what we have put together. And Chuck is part of the decor on this one because it does fit the themes that I was going for. If you guys have ever watched Dune or Twin Peaks or are a fan of Kama Clocklin in general, I think you might enjoy this. So let's get to it, guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to, to subscribe and like, share, comment, and hit the little bell so you'll know when the next videos are coming up. So let's get to it. Over here on my left side is a painting that I did of what I would depict uh, Planet Caladan in Dune to look like or to have with the waterfalls and the look of space and all of that and the colors that are rich and spice looking. I took the ideas from Dune and put them into this painting. And to Chuck's other side is this other painting that I did a while back of just an old stone castle with the giant waves, you know, hitting the edge of the cliffs, which when I painted it, I kind of sort of had Dune in mind of the Palace Caladan. Of course, Palace Caladan is way more beautiful than this is, but this is just a painting of a castle that I wanted to do. And it just reminds me every time I see it of Dune. So I hope that you enjoy it. Now moving down this way is another art piece that I did. Now this is just a print of a canvas that I painted. So this is just on paper and framed. But the original canvas painting is in California. I, I managed to send it to Kyle McLaughlin through one of the secretaries or ladies that was working at the vineyard in Washington State where he has his wines made and and stuff and I was able to uh, have her help in holding it for me when I sent him the actual painting. She held it for me for quite a while before he was able to, to retrieve it. And then he sent me a very sweet email thanking me for it and talked to me about the painting and what he liked about it. And he said he liked the shadows under the flowers and the leaves and the shadows on the walls and that it was a very vivid uh, colored painting. And he wondered what uh, the uh, notes of the wine that I had painted might have been. And my idea was, of course, that it might have had a pear sort of taste to it as well. And I made my own label. I don't know if you can really see it or not. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. But yes. And, um, of course, I added the hydrangeas, which is one of my favorite flowers. And I was so happy that he actually loved it and would give it a home in California. Down here are more hydrangeas. Then you see our wedding bowl that my husband and I have collected. It's a beautiful carnal, uh, carnival glass piece in blue. Now, I was... I say able to finally put together the the little dish with the slice of pie guys that I mentioned in a past video 
So here it is, all dolled up. What do you think? Here is a cherry pie slice that I made specifically for this theme. And if you remember in Twin Peaks, uh, Kyle's character, Dale Cooper, when he's in the restaurant and he's going to drink his cup of coffee or whatever, he, he says, this is a damn fine cup of coffee. I don't know if you guys remember that, but he said that and thought that was funny. And he does love his coffee. So what I did here to make this slice of co uh, slice of coffee, slice of pie, <laughs> was that I took a styrofoam that I cut into a triangular shape. Then I took some mauling clay, rolled it out, cut out what I thought I would need to um, cover the bottom and up the back side of the pie. And then I cut another piece and I added it to the little back part of it to finish it off. And then I hand painted the whole thing. And then I used a combination of cinnamon with uh, white sand to make it look sugary, which I think turned out very well. And it smells really nice. A really nice cinnamony smell. And then I made these two little faux uh, candies with the um, yellow crunchies that I made. And there's a cup of coffee. And to make the, the little cup of coffee, all I did was that I took some burnt umber paint. And I painted, painted up the inside of the cup as high as I wanted. Then I took a little piece of cardboard. And then I just glued it into the cup. And then I hand painted the top part as well and then Mod Podge did to give it a, a sheen to it like coffee would have. And it turned out really, really nice. And I have here uh, my late grandmother's um, gold um, fork. I have the whole set of utensils that I was given a long time ago. And I use them on special occasions every once in a while. And I thought that they would just look so pretty set here along with these uh, rummage sale finds that I have had for years of these either 50s or 60s um, milk glass patterned um, dishes that are so super adorable. I just love the shape. I love the prints. I love that it's milk glass. And, you know, they're just so cute. I just love it. And you can tell it has a little setting just for the cup. And this all came about because of Kyle's love of coffee. And so here is his brand of coffee. And no, I am not trying to sell it for him or to anybody. I'm just using it basically as a prop because I did get this uh, a couple of years ago. And I have not used it all up yet because it's such a darn good coffee. <laughs> and... It's by Pursued by Bear, which is his label, and if you go to his website, you can actually order his coffees and his wines. And I had a wine bottle, but the label messed up on it a little bit, so I was heartbroken, so I'll have to order some more. And no, uh, I am not a liquor drinker by all means, really, but I do like cooking with his wine. It is a wonderful wine, and it's also, um, uh, the coffee is also very wonderful. It doesn't have that acidic aftertaste that most coffees have it's a very smooth very good coffee so i would suggest you guys order this stuff if y'all into coffee and wine because i think his is really really nice now above that is a flower arrangement of course with hydrangeas i wanted to keep the hydrangeas around this um corner of the of the room because it just was perfect to go with the painting that i had done and so I took these um, faux hydrangeas and just stuck them into what looks like mistletoe. I found these, I think, at Walmart. And I just love the leaves of them. I do believe it's mistletoe. I've seen mistletoe a lot on trees. And it's always, it seems to be around all the time. It just depends on how much rain comes down and whatever. But it usually grows more than once a year. At least in our area, it does. 
And so I thought this would make a beautiful arrangement. What do you guys think? And of course, it's all inside that one vase that I put together and showed off in another video. And then over here, coming to my right, is a picture of Kyle, you know, enjoying his damn fine cup of coffee, like in the show or the movie where he's in the restaurant. So it's perfect. And I had another, pi another, another picture inside this frame. This is a very old frame. And so I did away with the picture that was in there and I put his in there and then I revamped this frame. And all it is decorated around, it has a uh, old gold belt that I found at a, at a yard sale one time. And it had lost some of the beads or some of the gems off of the buckle. But I liked it anyway. I thought it was very cute. And I took the belt apart into pieces. And I simply just hot glued it down around this wooden frame. Which was, I think, a Dollar Tree find. And then I just put in all these, um, these faux uh, gems or stones that I had collected and stuff through the years. And I just put them around the frame to kind of sort of depict also the, the stones or the kind of stones that uh, the, in the Dune books that they mention that Duke Leto found with one of his friends out in the ocean. So it turned out really, really nice. And it sits on top of this piece of wood that we have, that I have also shown and mentioned in another previous video. So I thought that looked really nice. And over here is my own little candy dish that I got when I was 10 years old from my mother. And it's a beautiful aquamarine color. And I've had it all this time. And I just simply stuck um, a gold spoon into the faux blue sugar, which is just some blue sand that I had gotten from Dollar Tree a long time ago. And then over here is my little pride and joy. My son for my birthday got me this autographed picture of Kyle. And I just loved it because it has him and his dune uh, attire, you know, during a scene. So I thought that was really cool and it had to be framed. And I have more hydrangeas here and there. And then over here is a large um, carnival blue glass compote with just some large shells and faux pearls and faux diamonds in there. Also keeping with the theme of Dune. And down below is the rest of the set of dishes that I wanted to show you guys. I think they're so cute and I love the little handles with the little ridges. And it's milk glass and I just love milk glass. And I was writing down, <laughs> I'm sorry my list came out a little bit, but I was writing down pointers so I wouldn't forget anything in particular. But uh, here is the dune storybook that my son got me as well i used to have uh, a copy of it the first time i ever got it was from my late uncle and i had it for a long time but it got messed up and so i was heartbroken when it got ruined and so i never would have thought that my son would have gotten me another copy later down the line so i am very proud of this book it's a beautiful uh, storybook of dune So, I hope that y'all enjoyed this cute little corner. I hope that you will let me know what y'all liked best about it. And, and share with me your comments. Let me know what you guys thought about the pie. Does it look good or what? And let me know what y'all thought about the painting as well. Or paintings. And Chuck. So until next time, guys.
This is Braceways. Bye-bye.